Honor. And the man who until just a little while ago was number one qualifier is now number two. So what's the strategy to regain that number one qualifier spot in this last shot? Try a little, try a little harder on the starting line. See if we can get the tires to stick and go just a little bit faster. We're not trying for much, but we don't need a lot. So put a little bit more in it and see what happens. So, so just a little more, a little more off the line, a little more down track. Wow, and that is so close. What makes Rob's machine so interesting is that it is a late model Challenger and it is a late model Chrysler Hemi. Okay, and when we talk about Chrysler Hemis, we generally think about the kinds of things we find in modern funny cars or even under the hoods of a lot of pro mods. But of course, this is the new Hemi. It is. It's a Gen 3 Hemi. It's come out in 2006 in the Dodge cars, the Chargers, and the Challengers. And we've just progressed with it to, to what we have now and built, built parts that weren't available to us and just kept trying. Well, you know, it's an amazing accomplishment on an engine. It hasn't seen a whole lot of development otherwise, so you've got a lot to be proud of there. Now, tell me a little bit more about the motor. Is it a stock deck? What is the displacement? Give me a little more. Yeah, everything about it is stock other than the block. We had we cast it ourselves in uh, London, or the UK. I don't know if it's London. Sent it back to Machine Shop here in the States. They machined it for us. It's, a, it's, it's exactly factory specs other than it's a solid cast. It doesn't have the water jackets and it's got a little bit of ribbing for added strength. We were splitting them in half and just having a heck of a time with them. And it's more stable, nothing moves. We've had, we've had it in since uh, July of this year with the new block, and so far it's been, been fantastic. So we're really looking forward to, to progressing now and having something solid we can work with and uh, make, make more gains with the car. Well, and there you have it. You know, a brand new combination so unique these days because there's just so much variety in today's drag racing. Something else new from the Chrysler end of things. Who saw this coming? Now, is anybody else running this engine right now, or are you, are you the pioneer? Uh, for the Gen 3, there's a couple of cars that have the Gen 3. With this block, uh, some of the guys that are racing in an MN, MHSH series, a little slower cars, but they're... Uh, they're running them. These these blocks are available in water, so people that want to run on the street can can have these blocks. They're uh, they got the water jackets and they're not solid, of course. So yeah, I think we got a lot to work with here, and the blocks are being built. I think there's 50 or 60 of them in the circulation now that are for sale and and out there in the marketplace. So, well, that's amazing. And real quick now, what is the displacement? 418, 417, I believe, is what it turned out to be. Well, so it's not enormous. Well, outstanding job, Rob. Once again, congratulations on your performance here this weekend, and uh, here's hoping you get that number one bet. I'm hoping so, too, but if we don't, we'll go into number two and, and, and win from there. There you go. Baddest challenge.